All right, so we're gonna go ahead, guys, and take a look. Now, you've obviously found this video, which talks about you guys doing a gallery walk. Now, for the sake of ease, we have gone ahead and curated or collected all of the artwork that you're going to be looking at. Some are paintings, some are photographs. You even have a video in there to observe and watch. But let's go ahead and take a look at what this will look like for you guys and what the expectation is. So let's go ahead and sit down in the museum and take a look at everything. Now, if you've never been in an art museum, guys, one of the immense joys of going to an art museum is actually being able to just sit and observe and look and feel and think about what it is you are seeing around you, all right? If a picture speaks a thousand words, then an art museum is like a library of ideas and concepts. So as you are doing this Westward Expansion Gallery Walk, it is incredibly important that you guys do take the time to really observe and think deeply about what the artists of that image, that clip, that painting, that photograph was trying to convey to you about this event and time period. So let's go ahead and use American Progress by John Gast as our example piece. All right. Now, this painting is a beautiful, what they call juxtaposition of ideas and concepts. There is two sides to this painting that are very, very obvious once you enlarge it. So as we take a big, big look, okay, the things you have to answer are going to be, I see, I think, I wonder. So right away, the I see should be very simple. We are looking at all the specific details, all right? I see a very large white blonde woman floating across the land. In her hands, I see a book and I see cable lines being trailed behind her. I see miners below her feet. I see farmers behind her, trains and stagecoaches and suspension bridges and ships. But in front of her is a different story. In front of her, we have a growling bear. We have native tribes running from her. In the distance, you can see teepees for a native settlement. Uh, my image is currently blocking it, but you actually can see the Pacific Ocean and a mountain range, which is gonna be important here. Now, as far as what I think, I think those mountains most likely represent the Rocky Mountain Range. And if we're looking where the sun is rising, that is the east, and where I'm located with my magnifying glass then must be the west, which means I'm looking at both the east coast and the west coast of our big nation. If I look at the things in her hand, I think that the book represents educational learning. If you look, it actually says the word school book. And then the cable she's pulling behind her will be for a form of communication from this time period, which is the telegraph or Morse, Morse code. Now, darkness versus light, improved forms of transportation versus wagons and horses. If I think about what's happening with this painting or this image, then what I'm thinking about is, is she the woman who brings civilization west? Is she pulling behind her these technological improvements, if you will, on life during this time period? As far as wonderings, I do wonder why she's depicted in flowing robes, almost like an angel with the blonde hair. What does this tell me about art from this time? I wonder about the native group who is looking over their shoulders at her and running in the opposite direction. I wonder about the farmers versus, let's say, our miners that are walking in the opposite direction. I wonder about the native tribes in the background and that wagon train farther in the distance. And I wonder why transportation hasn't quite made it in technology as far west as what we see in the east. This, guys, is how you tear apart a painting for the sake of analyzing its value. Please have fun with this activity. There's a lot to see and learn.